Hello fellow homo sapiens, it's another 5 a.m. video. My work shift is earlier now, um, and I've been falling asleep still right after work. Yay, chronic fatigue syndrome. And, um, between an earlier work shift, because it doesn't matter what time of day I do the work, um, still doing the work takes it out of me. Um, there's later or earlier. Um, I seem to have more energy to do the work when it's earlier. Uh, but I've been getting progressively more and more tired as the week goes on, as is typical. And, uh, going to bed, pretty much doing the same routine I did when I had a late shift job. Uh, coming home intending to do all these things. I just don't have it in me. I change my clothes, feed my cat, eat a little dinner. I'm done. Uh, by like between seven and eight o'clock. Between the earlier shift and time change, that means I'm waking up at like four and five o'clock in the morning. Five and six would be early enough, <laughs> but uh, seven or eight would be better, but I'm going to sleep so early and I can't help it. I have a giant cat in the background, marshmallow cat. Objects in the rearview mirror are larger than they appear. My partner got this for me um, a while ago. He lives on my bed because uh, he's bigger than my apartment. For no apparent reason, I brought him off of my bed um, or her. But hymns can wear bows too. Or a modern culture. Um, it's very soft and pillow like. For no apparent reason. He's joined on the party. <laughs> Excuse me. It is too early um, to function. <sighs> but every hour of the day is some level of dysfunction when you live in my life and body especially in my body. <coughs> I have my own brand of suffering. And it evolves every day. Every time. I think I get a handle on this life thing. <laughs> Um, there's another curveball thrown at me. Recover from childhood trauma? Check. Gain some self-esteem? Check. Self-care? Health care? Care for others? Independent living? And then psychosis. <laughs> Oop, didn't see that one coming. Well, I kind of saw that one coming because it came in college, but I thought it was a one-off. Yes, I'm bipolar. Yes, people with bipolar have that propensity, but I didn't realize it was going to be a, a part of my illness because a lot more people have psychotic episodes than you realize. Um, and I was at a very stressful time. It was finals. I didn't know where I was going to live after I graduated. Uh, and I didn't have any way to figure that out. Uh, so I was very stressed. And stress, in, incredible stress can induce psychosis in otherwise healthy individuals. So I thought it was that. But it's not. It's part of my condition. Um, 
and then came physical health problems. And so on. Everyone's got a story. <coughs> Everyone's got their own cross to bear. All the way through this life thing. But you want to have some kind of um, hope that it's all worth it hope that you can endure it. Some sort of positive attitude. Um, I heard in a podcast, I can't remember from who. Um, so I'm just letting you know, I'm, this is not mine, but I'm stealing it. Um, fear is pissing your pants. Courage is going to the party with wet pants. Uh, <laughs> courage doesn't mean the absence of fear. It means that you feel the fear and you do it anyway. Nobody's fearless. Um, especially in the face of difficulty. No one is uh, happy, positive, exuberant in the face of chronic long-term um, problems. It, it, when, when life comes at you again and again and again and again, and it's just like, <laughs> it just doesn't seem to stop. Um, every time you think you're 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 stabilized and you you've got your your uh, shot together and yourself together, and then it's like you're just the glass bottle stack at the town fair, and somebody chucked a baseball and the whole damn thing falls apart again. And you're in another uh, crisis or difficulty. You have it's people aren't going to be positive. A positive mindset is not going to take the the difficulty away. Uh, the brand new baby, happy thing, highly stressful. You ain't going to be sleeping. Your whole life is different now. Your priorities have changed. It's it's gonna be a rough six months. <laughs> Positive thing may not feel so good, and it's gonna be highly stressful and long term. Divorce, job loss, and you can't find another one. Chronic health condition that makes me feel like I got beat up or fell down some stairs and have uh, the energy like I just got done running a marathon. <laughs> no matter what I do, how much I sleep, how much I exercise, how much I eat, what I don't do, if I, if I fast, if I eat a specific diet bone broth, <laughs> if I sleep for 12 hours or two hours, if I abstain from exercise or I maintain exercise, doesn't seem to make a hill of beans a difference. And living in chronic exhaustion and chronic pain is its own special kind of torture. When you're in any long-term situation, whether it is a practical manifestation, like I just described, divorce, new baby, um, a health, chronic health condition, losing a job and not being able to find another one that goes on for a long period of time. It is uncertain. It is unsecure. <clears throat> it is difficult. Um, it is stress inducing. Chronic long term difficulties cause a certain threshold of chronic stress, inflammation in the body. 
stressing your nervous system. Uncertainty, lack of uh, stability, um, etc. Puts your capacity to tolerate and uh, maneuver the rest of the world. Uh, you got this much, you got this much left. Um, it makes your focus and attention diminished, your capacity to think clearly diminished, um, your ability to make proper choices diminished, your ability to handle stress diminished, and your capacity to control your emotions, which is the, the channel, the happiness channel, diminished. Physiologically, not through any um, lack of proper coping capacities and use, using your tools and, and thinking positively. Um, anytime you are enduring, enduring something, it's not a passing problem. <clears throat> you have to have a hope. You have to have a belief there's some meaning to all of this. It's really helpful to have a direction, a reason to wake up in the morning. Um, mindfulness it helps bring that stress level, that constant bombardment from the, the uncertainty, the instability, the uh, stress caused by like the chronic pain <laughs> or other chronic sleepless nights from the new baby, um, you know, it brings the stress down, grounds you, calms you, brings your focus up, your ability to problem solve up, <coughs> helps you recalibrate. Um, <coughs> this could also be um, a state of mind, a belief about yourself or your life, that you're aimless, that it's all meaningless, that you're worthless. Um, beliefs like those, frame, frames of mind, framing your life and yourself like that um, for years and 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 years, and years makes you miserable. Long-term, pro prolonged, projected negative situations, um, repetitive short-term situations uh, like hopping from one abusive relationship to the next abusive relationship to the next abusive relationship because you didn't take the time in between to introspect and figure out um, what repetitive trauma pattern are you repeating and projecting onto the people you're attracted to so you don't make that mistake again. Um, side note, try that. Don't just go directly from relationship to relationship. Give yourself some time to reflect on why you keep attracting the same man in a different body or woman in a different body um, before you carry on. But <laughs> it does bad things to your physiology bad things to your nervous system, your capacity to cope, it gives you chronic stress, and inflames the body. If you already have an autoimmune condition like me, you are already on fire. Inflame means to set a blaze. You are setting your body ablaze. Um, and with either that mindset, projected, prolonged, repeated problem after problem after problem after problem, um, your nervous system is up to here. You can't think clearly. You're not present in your own life. Um, you can't control your emotions. So you're more prone to react negatively with negative coping mechanisms to just be reactive rather than thoughtful in your responses to others, to lash out, to compound the problems in your life um, when you're facing miserable 
uh, situations that are long term because it changes the physiology uh, of your body and your central nervous system sets you up for long term health conditions to the, the, the magnitude of the stress and the magnitude of the stress makes you unable to focus clearly which you need focus and attention and emotional control to be able to solve the problems you're facing or cope with the problems you're facing properly if they are um, permanent like the health um, or semi-permanent like a tumultuous divorce um, finding that new job raising that baby uh, <coughs> six months to three years you <laughs> you better be on your game um, you are in a position where you're less able to solve the problem or cope with it as best possible possible and behave in such a way react emotionally in such a way think in such a way that due to uh, the accumulation of stress and poor self-care etc um, or a guaranteed like chronic pain um, guaranteed um, agony <laughs> Uh, to be stretched thin and not be able to solve the problem you're in, to lash out at other people, not be able to control your emotions, and use coping mechanisms like booze or drugs or other things that uh, just compound the problem. You can't solve a problem by adding another problem. And same goes with just the mindset of I'm worthless. It's all pointless. There's no point to me. There's no point to being here. I'm a piece of shit. If you go through your life feeling that way the entire time, a prolonged belief of pointlessness, of aimlessness, of self-hatred, um, and hating your experience because you keep going through problem after problem after problem after problem, <coughs> puts you in a, a very difficult spot. And you can't face enduring difficulty and enduringly difficult perspectives and mindsets without it beginning to change you. If you are in a chronic or persistent miserable situation, miserable mindset, miserable self-perception, you're feeling miserable for too long, it begins to like a poisonous snake bite or consuming poison, it begins to become you. Um, you are immersed in this toxicness long enough. High stress, negative situation, negative attitude. Negative, you begin to become it. You think it and feel it for too long. You begin to become it think and feel the miserable for too long, you, you begin to become miserable. Miserable person in emotion, in behavior, <laughs> um, bitter and angry about life at others. It begins to erode your, your it, it wipes a smile off your face, puts a frown and uh, you, instead of a handshake, you want to punch people makes you bitter. Be mindful <laughs> in these prolonged situations that it is going to affect your physiology. It is going to affect your clarity, your attention, your capacity to control your emotions and try to keep your uh, self your character and your choices and your choices of coping skills in check. Try to remain objective and insightful about how you are behaving toward yourself, toward other people. Mm. So that you don't become bitter, angry, hateful, 
dejected. Um, not you anymore. Mindfulness is uh, scientifically proven to help ground you, raise your attention, raise your focusing capacity, calm your emotion centers in your brain, um, help you regulate your emotions, help you stay focused um, and reduce your stress and inflammation. Uh, it's the only thing so far they found in these situations that is uh, scientifically lab proven effective. Um, I have a mindfulness playlist you could do. Um, mindfulness while you do the dishes, you do mindfulness um, in the shower, or you can do a set mindfulness practice like meditation. Um, but if you're one of those people that are uncomfortable with meditation, just do the dishes, feel the dishes, feel the feeling of the water between your fingers and the suds and the texture of the plate. Listen to the water running, smell the soap, feel your feet planted on the floor and just be 100% in the thing that you are doing and 100% there with all of your senses and all of your attention and all of your thoughts. Don't let it wander to anything else or your attention. If you feel your attention wandering, just call it back. That is essentially mindfulness. I have a whole playlist which I will link to below. And the quote for this happy video, which is why I thought I'd bring my Look, it's like I'm holding it. Ooh, perspective tricks. <laughs> uh, poke, poke. Let's see if I can do it. Squish you. I squish your head. <laughs> Some people got that reference. Anyway, um, quote of the day on this happy video. That's too long video, but that's they've all been too long lately because I'm, I'm barely keeping it together, people. I'm doing the best I can. Um. <clears throat> when you're too mad or too rattled to see straight, you're bound to make mistakes. You cannot go on and on for years in being miserable about a situation and not have it change you. Try mindfulness. It will help you cope to long-term difficult situations that are bound to make you bitter so you get better. Not bitter. So you grow through what you go through. Don't let life turn you into um, an angry that stole Christmas kind of person. No matter what, don't let life take your kindness away. Don't let it erode your, your character, your compassion, your kindness. You really need to be uh, mindful, insightful self-observant and careful with yourself when you are dealing with these prolonged situations and prolonged negative mindsets um, that you are trying to treat yourself with a little TLC, trying to shift those negative thoughts, um, trying to be, practice mindfulness and other techniques to um, down level that stress and cope as best you can. Um, so that the miserable situation or miserable mindset doesn't make you a miserable person. Link below to um, my mindfulness playlist and a few other things and stuff. Good morning. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could drink better things, but... I'm in a prolonged, miserable situation, so <laughs> I'm going to mindfully drink my Mountain Dew, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Peace.